Hey guys, Humans for Targets. Today we're going to talk about uh, lone wolf conversion barrels. And I'm going to explain to you uh, how these barrels work and what barrels you can get for your Glock. Uh, first I'd like to start off by, by uh, saying I'd like everyone to subscribe to this channel. Mr. 45 Bullet, B-U-L-L-I-T-T, -T, spelled just like that. That is Bill, 13442. He opened a new channel. So, go ahead and subscribe to him. He's a good guy. He's ex-military. And uh, he's just a really decent guy, and I talk to him on the phone quite often. Okay. Okay, what I have here is I have a lone wolf conversion barrel conversion barrel for my 40 caliber Glock 27 to convert it from 40 to 9. Um, you can convert 40 caliber Glocks to shoot 9 millimeter and 357 sig. You can convert a G20, which is a 10 millimeter, to shoot uh, 40 caliber because the 10 millimeter is a 40 caliber bullet with an extended casing. Okay. First thing I want to show you is when we're going to explain about these conversion barrels are the differences in the inside the gun uh, for the bullets. Okay. First I will show you that you can see here the 9 millimeter on the right and the 40 caliber on the left. The diameter of the 9 millimeter is smaller than the 40, of course. Okay, so when the extractor grabs the casing and uh, it's around the casing when you chamber around and the slide comes back, the extractor is holding it, the back of the casing hits the ejector and that makes it come out of the, out of the slide. It pushes it out faster than you can see, of course. Um, the 40 cal ejector is straight. The 9mm uh, ejector is curved like this because of the smaller diameter uh, in the casing. But this, see the, the frame of the pistols are the same size. So this has to be curved in because the diameter of the 9mm bullet is not as big as the 40. So this is curved so it hits the 9mm casing at the right angle. Okay, so that's one of the differences. Now here's my Lone Wolf conversion barrel from 40 to 9. Now as you can see from back here, your chamber is a little offset. The wall on this side is thicker than the wall on this side. This puts it just a little bit closer to that ejector, to that uh, straight ejector, uh, so that your casing is more in line with the straight ejector on the 40 caliber. Okay, then what you'll notice is the wall of the barrel is thicker to take up the excess room uh, that the 40 caliber would leave. See, your 40 caliber barrel is a bigger diameter. Okay, so since a 9mm is smaller, the Lone Wolf conversion barrel has a thicker rim um, around the barrel to take up that excess room. Okay, now if you were to put a nine a standard nine millimeter barrel into a 40 cal slide this is what would happen see that gap right there and there'd be a gap right here when the when the gun was uh, when a round was chambered see that gap you got right there now I'll show you this is the 40 cal slide now I'll show you um, with the 40 caliber barrel how there is no gap. One second here. Okay. Now you can see it's tight. There is no gap. So you take out your 40 caliber barrel, you put in your lone wolf conversion barrel, and you can see that the chamber area and barrel hood is, is made thicker to take up that uh, that space that would be left there. Okay, so now you can shoot nine millimeter. They're going to eject right out of the gun. All you have to do is throw in a uh, magazine, a nine millimeter magazine from any of the Glocks, and now you can shoot 
9 millimeter in this G27. Now um, I'm going to show you why you cannot convert 9 millimeter Glocks to shoot 40. You can't go up or 357 SIG. Okay, here is a Glock 17 9 millimeter slide. It's my Humans for Target slide. Everyone likes that, so I just use this one for reference. Okay, now let me show you what happens if you were to try to put a 40 caliber uh, barrel into a 9 millimeter slide. See, it's too thick. It won't lock in. The slide's milled differently for the 9 millimeter. This will, this will never lock in there. It's just too thick all around here. It won't fit. So you cannot go up. You cannot go from 9 to 40. You have to go with a 40 caliber Glock down. Or you can go 357 SIG. 357 SIG is a 40 caliber casing neck down to hold a 9 millimeter bullet. That's all it is. It's a very hot, uh, good round. It's uh, good for going through barriers and things like that, and it's got a lot of speed behind it. But that's all that a 357 SIG is. Just a 40 cal neck down to hold a 9 millimeter bullet. So uh, I hope this helps you to better understand uh, some of these conversion barrels. You can also convert a Glock 21 to shoot 400 Corbon, but um, ammo is going to be expensive for that. Uh, but I hope this uh, helps some of you. If you would like to get a conversion barrel, go to LoneWolf.com. They run approximately $100. You can get some extended versions uh, with ports. It'll stick out of the slide and it'll have two ports up on top. Or you can just go with a standard like this. And uh, you, you know, the Glocks run good with these. They do. The reputation of these barrels is good. Uh, you can shoot reloaded uh, lead ammunition through these barrels. That's fine. The, the uh, rifling in these barrels are not uh, polygonal like in the Glock. These are flat lands and grooves. This barrel is actually a little bit tighter uh, tolerances than the Glock as far as how it locks in. You're going to get, some people claim to get a little bit more accuracy out of these barrels. But they work. They feed right, they work, and uh, you can look up videos on YouTube. Uh, there's not, I don't really know of any complaints I've seen. If, if something's wrong, then you might have got a bad barrel and Lone Wolf will take care of you. But that's how that works. It's just a 9mm barrel that's beefed up and made to the tolerances to fit into a 40 caliber slide and the diameter in, inside the barrel is made for 9 millimeter bullet and then you just slap in a uh, you just slap in a 9 millimeter magazine and you're good to go. Okay let me go ahead and put this together and I'll show you what it looks like with the barrel in there just in case you want to see. Do this off camera real quick here. I'm running out of time. There you go. It's just as tight as a 40 cal barrel in this G27. Lock the slide back. And there it is. So if you have any questions, uh, just send them over. Um, you know, sometimes I miss things when I do videos. That's the only thing I hate is uh, sometimes I do a video and there's things I wanted to talk about and I forget. So if there's something I didn't cover or if you'd like to know anything else, um, just send a message over and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I just wanted to also let you know that uh, if my messages are quick and to the point, uh, don't take offense. Um, I'm starting to get so many messages and comments that uh, sometimes when I get on YouTube, I'm there for an hour to an hour and a half just answering questions, which is fine. I'll answer all your questions. Um, but sometimes they'll be quick and to the point. So don't think I'm, don't think I'm just pushing you aside if my answer is just short and to the point. Uh, that's just because you know, I'm trying to get through all my messages. And if you sent me something and I didn't get back with you, or you sent me a comment, resend it because I do all that I can to answer everyone's questions. I want to help as much as I can. That's what I'm here for. And uh, I'll try to do that to the best of my ability. 
All right, everyone. This is Humans for Targets. Subscribe to Mr. 45 Bullet, B-U-L-L-I-T-T. -T. Jaden Goro, and we're out.